Okay, so in a residential area like this, the recommended speed, even though the speed limit is still 50, is between 35 and 40 kilometers an hour maximum. Okay. Um, remember, speed limits are set for ideal driving conditions only. It's not just, um, is you know, it doesn't mean that because it's 50, you have to do 50. Now it's 30 anyways. It's a playground zone. So we need to, uh, the, the speed limit will be 30 kilometers an hour. Let's do a um, left turn at the stop sign here. Okay. So you should turn your signal light on 30 meters or so before the, uh, the intersection. It's not, I was I want to say it's a, you know, written rule, but it's sort of a, it's a good uh, distance uh, to indicate that you will be changing directions. And this stop sign is only for me. It's a one-way stop sign? That is correct. It's a one-way stop sign at a three, um, at a T-intersection. Okay, we'll be turning left at the intersection coming up. So it'll be this intersection here. Now, one thing about the intersections. Now, people need to understand, or, you know, especially for new drivers mostly, uh, intersections are any, any intersection. So sometimes people think intersections are traffic lights. So yes. you may say next intersection, they, they can buy, they go by one intersection that has no traffic lights, but they think that's not the one we're talking about when you say intersection. When we refer to an intersection, we're talking about any place where roads meet, that's an intersection. That's where roads intersect. That's where intersection comes from. So anywhere where roads intersect is called an intersection. It doesn't necessarily have to have traffic lights or signs or anything like that. Okay. So we'll be turning um, right this time at the uh, corner coming up. So we have a yield sign here. We um, we slow down. We don't necessarily have to stop. We only stop if we have to yield the traf uh, the, the right away to somebody. It's nobody, so we can just continue moving. But it's important to slow down and be ready to yield. Yes. We're gonna turn left at this uh, corner here. Now this corner, the uh, the cross traffic has a yield sign, so we would have the right away. Now remember one thing, right away is not taken, the right away is given. So it's, uh, it's also your responsibility, even though you may have the right away, to avoid a collision. So if the person is not giving you the right away, then you should stop, even though it's legally your right away. Okay, yeah, that's a very important point. Intersection again with uh, your signs. We're gonna continue straight through, so we're gonna cross this uh, main road. Now, how do we know the difference between a main road and a residential side of street? Now, we are on a residential side of street now. This road that we're crossing at this moment that we cross is a main road. It looks the same. Okay, now the way we tell, we teach you know, people to, to know the differences, on a main road, you're gonna find a bus route, so bus stops. On a residential side of the street, you know, you're not gonna find any any bus stops because you know, buses only for most part they drive in uh, on main roads, not on residential side of the streets. Yes. Should I signal and? No, you don't have to signal okay. here because it's just a curve. Okay. You know, it's just a curve. It's not a. Um, it's not, a, you don't have a choice of directions. Yes, there's no yeah, intersection. Exactly. In a curve, you don't have to signal. You only signal when you have a choice of directions. Okay. So we have another curve coming up here, so you don't need to signal here. You don't need to indicate, you don't need to put your signal light on. Okay, at the intersection coming up, we're gonna be turning left. Okay. Again, intersections are anywhere where roads intersect. They don't necessarily have to have traffic lights or signs to be an intersection. There. So there was no necessary to necessarily, you know, necessary to stop at that 
corner because it was just a yield sign. At a yield sign, what do you do? Just slow down, check for traffic. If there's nobody to yield to, you can continue moving. Okay. But it's critical that you slow down and check for traffic before you go through a yield sign. Yes. And if there is a pedestrian crossing, then I stop. Is that correct? If there's a pedestrian. Yes. If there's no pedestrian, you don't have to stop either. Yes. Yeah. Whether there's a pedestrian crosswalk or not. Yeah, at a pedestrian crosswalk, you only stop with those pedestrians uh, that need to cross the, the, the crosswalk. So always look from left to right. Remember that looking left first is critical. We can go now, they have a red light. Now, how do we know they have a red light? There's a little white light that lights up at the top there. But, you know, that's a detail that you may not mm -hmm. necessarily have somewhere else. So. Um, but that was a, um, a traffic light controlled by pedestrians. So if a pedestrian presses the button, the light goes red. Um, also, if there's a bus coming that needs to cross, the light will change. I don't know how the system works. I don't know how they do it, but um, yeah. So playground, maximum 30 kilometers. Yes. Crosswalk. Okay. And we go light, left. So here we have a three-way stop sign. Uh, same thing, whoever stops first gets to go first. And we've stopped, there's nobody else, uh, nobody to yield to. Then we're gonna make in a right turn at the next intersection. It's a little ways down yet, but we'll be turning right. Okay. So passing the 50 uh, sign here, we can increase our speed to 50. Okay, so let's turn right at this uh, corner coming up here. Okay, now this intersection coming up is an uncontrolled intersection. We should slow down. Okay, slow down a bit. Check left, check right. It's clear, we continue. Now this is critical. If you fail to slow down and check for traffic and your road test at an uncontrolled, uncontrolled intersection, you will fail your road test. This is another uncontrolled intersection another here. We slow down, it's only to the right. We look, there's no traffic, we continue. So but when you, you say slow down, you mean slow down to 30 kilometers? It depends how fast you're driving at the moment. You know, just reduce your speed. Make sure your foot is on the brake ready to stop. Okay. It's not necessarily an exact, uh, you know, speed that you're slowing down to. Right? Yes. So yeah, so when you come to an uncontrolled intersection, you're slowing down. It's not necessarily, you don't need to look at your speedometer. As long as your vehicle is slowing down, your foot is on the brake um, and you're ready to stop. Okay. Okay. Uh, we want to be focusing on the road, not on the speedometer at that moment. We're going to turn left at the stop sign here. Um, remembering, taking your eyes off the road for more than a second is one second too long. It's a second too long. So um, anytime you need to look at something away from the road, it's just, you make it quick. It's just a quick glance, right? Yes. One second to check your rear view mirror. One second to check your speedometer. Um, you know, or anything you need to look at besides the um, the main road in front of you. We're gonna turn right at the stop signs. We're gonna move over to the right lane. We're gonna do a proper lane change. Anytime you move from one space to another space off the road is a lane change. There's no exception. So a proper lane change, you have to check your mirror indicate and show the check that's a proper lane change so what happens like if you're on a three lane street like this one is four lane pretty four much lanes, like yes. right it's a wider road on a three lane street you have cars parked on both sides and then you're in the middle and if there's oncoming car what you do 
Well, it's, it's a shared responsibility, right? I mean, whoever has a space to yield to the other vehicle will yield. So if you have a space on your right side that you can pull in and let the other vehicle in, then you do it. It's your responsibility. Now, if the other vehicle does, then it's their responsibility. So it's a shared responsibility. Okay. So we have a four-way stop coming up here. As you can see, there's a sign underneath the stop sign telling you it's a four-way stop. That means every corner has a stop sign. Now, the way it works is whoever stops first goes first. If two people arrive at the same time, the person to the right of the other one will go first. Okay, yeah, that's good. Is that a highway? No, it's just a regular road. We're going to turn right here at the stop sign. So this is one of the so-called pedestrian uh, traffic light. It does only turn red when the uh, pedestrian presses the button or the bus is coming. And how do you know like this one is a pedestrian traffic light? Because it's just a single traffic light. There's no cross traffic light. So there is a stop sign on other side? That is correct, yes. yes. So what controls the cross uh, traffic in this case would be a stop sign for regular traffic. Okay. 